Welcome everyone to Breaking Blockchain. We are the Cryptards. We are the Cryptards. <laughs> Welcome. Got a good show for you guys today. Uh, we don't have a special guest. He kind of stole the show from us, so we don't want to bring him back right now. That's right. Smash it! That's all right. We're going to show you a couple basic things today. If you are uh, an advanced cryptocurrency user, don't watch this video. This is not for you. All right? So we're going to show you uh, how to make some transfers from wallet to wallet. We're going to show you uh, how to purchase. No, we're not going to show you how to purchase, right? No, we're just going to show you how to send your coin from an exchange to your wallet because you should never leave coin on an exchange. Right. Why? Because uh, they're going to steal your shit. Right. So they can hack it, uh, and when it's in a wallet, it's safe. As long as you have it backed up, and you have your, uh, your seed phrase. Correct. So, here we go. All right. So, there's a couple different things you guys can do. Uh, you could uh, have it in the exchange. You just bought it. Uh, there's many exchanges you can use. You use Kraken, Coinbase is a big one right now. Never use Robinhood. Never. Very bad idea. Uh, I crazy. don't like the stonk. No Robinhood. You don't own the coin on Robinhood. You're buying a contract. So if you own coins on Robinhood, you don't have shit. Yeah, so one example of this is uh, if you buy a coin on Robinhood, and you go to send it to somebody, right, to like transfer it, pay for something, goods or services, and you try and send it to them, you can't send it to them, you have to sell whatever you own, or you think you own, and then get the cash, deposit the cash into your bank account, and then either re you, you the don't, coin. Yeah, you don't have any. So no. we're gonna say you, you're on an exchange, you've been uh, verified or whatever, and you bought some, let's say, ETH. Right? Yep. You bought some Ethereum, and you're going to send your Ethereum from the exchange to uh, to a wallet. There's a million wallets. You want to back it up. That's followed. Simple instructions. Back it up. You're going to have to write down 12 or 24 or 15 words in order. Write them down. Don't screenshot it because those dorks in Silicon Valley can see your pictures on your phone. So you're going to write it down with a pen and paper, and you're going to put it somewhere safe. Save it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Ethereum from one wallet and move it to a different wallet, just as if you would do it on an exchange. You'd have it on an exchange and you go to one wallet. Uh, we're gonna use MetaMask, as you can see here. That is a Google Chrome extension or a website, whatever you prefer. And then right here I have my Coinbase wallet. Uh, Coinbase wallet is a separate app. If you use Coinbase, it connects right to your Coinbase. Wow, you are balling out of fucking control. Yeah, I couldn't get that to hide. All right, so first thing you want to do is decide, you know, where you want to put the funds, okay? So we're going to go from MetaMask to Coinbase, all right? To the Coinbase wallet. Coinbase wallet, not regular Coinbase. Coinbase wallet, not the exchange. Now, this is a Google Chrome plugin. There's also an app you can use. It's pretty much the same features. So this says show wallet address, but before I do that, I want to make sure I'm clicking on the right cryptocurrency that I want to receive, right? Because all of these are different cryptocurrencies. So I these are known as shit coins, yeah. other than Ether, Ethereum. Those are all shit coins. So I'm going to click on Ethereum because that's what I want to receive. All right. Once I'm in Ethereum, this little QR code down here says show wallet address. So I'm going to click on that, and as you can see, it says receive, and it gives me an address. All right. So I'm receiving Ethereum and I have an address. Now you can use that address, the numbers and letters down there, or you could use your phone. If you're in your wallet on your phone, you can scan the QR and that automatically enters the address and you can send it right to the wallet. What you want to do then is smash it. Smash it up. All right, so the wallet address is right here. So we're going to copy that. It copies it on your clipboard of your computer. And once you have that copied, okay, we're going to go back. Double check we have Ethereum, all right? Now I'm in the MetaMask. This is the wallet where I have the Ethereum and I wanna send it to the Coinbase wallet. So there's buy, send, swap. We're gonna send it, all right? 
Now, some exchanges might say withdraw, send. You gotta mess around with which exchange you use, but it'll say something similar to that. Send to, okay? Now, look, I'm in the Ethereum, all right? I'm not on the main page of the assets, okay? So click on the Ethereum or whatever you wanna send. Click on send. Once I'm here, you can right click and paste, all right? If you were on your phone, see this little button right here? That would be able to scan the QR code. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna copy and paste. And if you copy and pasted the address from the other wallet, it's gonna be right. So uh, you go ahead and do it. All right, so now Ethereum, we wanna receive Ethereum, which is great. We're gonna send 0.1 Ether, all right? Click next. New address detected, looking good. Now you can save the address if you want. If you want to do transfers down the road, you can save that wallet address and then just pull it up. It'll give you a name, you can nickname it. So we have gas fees. Your gas fee is basically the fee to transfer your cryptocurrency. It takes time, it takes energy and data. People's computers are working on solving problems, mathematical problems, which allows the blocks to form and it allows for these transactions to go through. So they're getting paid for doing it. Yeah, but basically it's just the fee to transfer, all right? So it comes out to $7 to transfer, my $386. We're gonna confirm, all right? Now it's pending. While it's pending, like he just said, these computers on the blockchain are all linked up in one giant network and they're all confirming these transactions. All right, if we click on this, we can see it's still going up. Uh, transaction ID. Okay, here. This little arrow right here on MetaMask says view on Etherscan. Sometimes it's a link that says view on Etherscan. We're gonna click on that. Now you don't but have to do None this. of this is necessary, right? None of this is necessary. If you send it, you'll send it. It'll take a minute, bite your cheek for a little bit. It'll come into the other wallet. Right, this is not necessary, but if you wanna check on it, you can click right here. Once it goes through, it'll pull up. It'll say how many transaction hashes it has, which means uh, how many different nodes or computers have verified your transaction. All right. It should take just a couple minutes, and then our Ethereum will pop up here, and we will be completely with the So all these different computers, right, all these different nodes, people around the world, they all have to agree that the transaction is correct, and once they all agree, the block forms and the transaction occurs, uh, and that's how it works. So one computer can't be wrong or lying. They all have to agree, confirmation, 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 the, then the transaction occurs. Now we're gonna do a, a separate video just about the blockchain, uh, but there's a lot of videos about the blockchain that you can watch that have like nifty, um, you know, nifty little cartoons. But now you know how to get and this is just MetaMask wallet or you know MetaMask wallet to Coinbase wallet. There's Trust wallet, Atomic wallet. There's uh, there's hundred hundreds of wallets, and some are good, some are not, and some you can do swaps on, some you cannot. But as long as you're backed up and you send your coin out of the exchange to a private wallet, your coin's safe. So it, it just loaded. It still says pending. It's gonna go through any second. But this gives you all your data that you can look at, don't need to, from one wallet to another wallet, all right? So it should be going through any second. Now, I want you guys to know, you are very lucky to be buying cryptocurrency in this day and age. There's tons of wallets out there. 10 years ago, there was almost nothing. It sucked. Yeah, well it was fun because like, you know, there was no limits or, uh, you know, regulations, but we're still in the beginning. We're still, in the infancy of this, so you're not too late and you're gonna ball out of control. But you know, we're just telling you how this works. We're not actually telling you what to do. What you wanna do now is smash it. As you can see, status, success, that means we're good to go. Just check our Coinbase wallet. As you can see, it was 0.284 before, now it's 0.384, and our transaction is successful. So now you learned how to send coin from one wallet or exchange to another wallet 
And uh, don't keep it on the exchange. Get it off of there. Put it in a wallet. It's much more secure. Yeah, don't. Don't leave it on Coinbase. Oh, but it's a publicly traded company. Don't. I don't care. Do not keep it on there. They're all after your coin, man. If it's on a wallet, you're safe. Anything else? Nope. All right. That's it. Smash the like button. Smash. Subscribe. Share. Let's do this. Yeah.